Mishnah Bet. Mishnah Bet is going to talk about uh, Bitsa Perek Hey Mishnah Bet. Kol shechayavim alav, which means all everything that you obligated on. What does it mean? Klumar kol devar sheasru chachamim. All the laws that we learned in Shabbos that the rabbis came and made a decree, do not do. All those laws. Those laws are called shvut. All, in other words, the rabbi says, shev, don't do them. Even though the Torah allows you, shev, don't do them. Sit back from it. Mishum shvut. From shvut. Kedel lekayem mitzvat uvayom mashvit yishvot. In other words, you need to do the commandment of resting. Why are you coming, doing all this kind of stuff? This is shvut. It means, stay away from these things. Mishum reshut. Davar sheasiyato reshut. So, for example, something that you actually are allowed to do, even uh, so you're allowed to do it, and it has a little bit of a commandment in it. We're going to, I think it's going to give examples like what they are later on. Nevertheless, the sage just says you're not allowed to do it. Why? Because of Shvut. For example, bathing on Shabbat. Why not allowed to take a bath in Shabbat? I'm doing it for the honor of Shabbat. I'm Zeu. Yeah, the Rebbe says, Shvut. It's not, a, it's not a time to take a bath on Shabbat. Right? It is a little bit of a mitzvah because I'm doing it for Shabbos. I want to be clean. Still, the Rebbe says, yeah. Mishum mitzvah, davar sheyesh bo mitzvah mamash, a thing that has in it a real commandment, so the example I gave, it's not a commandment to, to bathe yourself on Shabbos. But even things that are is commandment. For example, lulav. You remember, lulav is a commandment. I want to take it to shul to make a mitzvah. Chachamim says, do not take it. Even though... Yeah. So all the things that we learned on Shabbat, that the rabbi says, do not do, so on everything that was prohibited on Shabbat is also prohibited on Yom Tov. That's right, exactly the same. There's no difference. But on Yom Tov, on, you're not allowed to do it. On Shabbat, we had, uh, the, uh, if you remember, was, uh, we had two opinions. Or we, we learned it in two ways. Either the Torah gave us a general rule, Shvot, and then the rabbis came out with what the Shvot is. In other words, it's a mitzvah from the rabbis. Or you can say, no, the mitzvah just explained what the mitzvah is from the Torah. In Yom Tov, it's for sure rabbis. There's no, no. There's no Torah for sure. Oh, yeah. So on Yom Tov, it's only the rabbis. For sure we know it's not, but it's the rabbis. It doesn't matter. Ve'eluhem mishum Shvot. So these are the, a, couple, a, couple, a couple of examples. One is not allowed to do on Yom Tov because of Shvut, because of Shabbat. Dvarim asurim b'yom tov mishum Shvut. Ve'en ba'asiyatam kol tzad shel mitzvah. So these are things that the Rebbe is prohibited, but it has nothing to do with commandments. They just prohibited, it's a reshut. For example, lo olim ba'ilam. On Shabbat, you're not allowed to climb up a tree. On Yom Tov, you're not allowed to climb up a tree. Gzera, this is a decree, Shema itlosh min ha'alim o min ha'anafim. Because we are afraid the, on the regular time when you come up the tree, you're going to take away leaves, you're going to take away branches, whatever, in order to climb up or whatever. Another thing, lo rochvim al gabay behema. Also, you do not uh, ride on top of an animal, even though it's a shvut, it's yom tov. What's the problem? I learned to walk with my animals, so why am I not to, to ride on it? Same thing. Gzera, but again, why not, why, on, why not ride an animal? Because when you ride an animal and you go um, next to a tree, automatically you're used to it from a regular day. You'll, you'll break off a branch to go like this to it, you know, to make it move. And that's something that you do, it's the same reason you know to hold the pen. There's no problem in holding a pen, but you hold a pen and you forget what you're doing, you start riding. So, same idea over here. You ride an animal, you forgot what you're doing, you start tearing things off, because that's what you usually do. Gzera mashema sheyachtoch zmurol aniga. Because it's a decree, once you used to do something the regular way, we're afraid you're going to cut off a branch in order to lead it. 
ולא שתין על פני המים. And also, not swimming on Yom Tov. Why not swimming? What's the problem? We're taking a mic. No, it means don't even swim because shati means to swim. Oh. Yeah, yeah, to swim. Lo shati apnei amayim. Why? Gzera shemay shemay yasek lishayit. Because once you let somebody swim, he's going to take. Um, oh, there's a board over there. He doesn't know how to swim, but so he's going to start leaning on it. Oh, there's another board. He's going to put this one on top. Soon he's going to start making a boat to, in order to swim. ולא מטפחים, אין מכים בידיים כף אל כף. Also, you do not מוחה uh, ידיים. Don't do this. Why? אין, uh, לא מטפחים, מכים בידיים, ולא מספקים, אין מכים בכף היד על הירך. You not do that with your hand on your leg, like this. Yeah, like this. Uh, ולא מספקים, ולא מרקדים. And you do not dance even. in all those things. Why? What's the problem in, in all these things? Shlosha dvarim elu asurim because you're afraid. Once you start having a party, you know, this guy is going to go like this, this guy is going to go like this. Eh? Bring out the drums, bring out the guitars, bring out the, all the other things. Obviously, this is not the halacha, yeah? Shlosha, you're not to dance in Yom Tov. Shlosha dvarim elu asurim mishu shechoshishim shema itaken klishir. It says, once you have an atmosphere of a party, you might bring also all the other instruments. So these are, ve'elu hem meshum rishut. All these things are big, things that you don't have to do, you're allowed to do. In other words, in a regular day, you actually, on regular Yom Tov, you should be allowed to do these things. There's no problem in doing all these things. Not this one, not this one, this one. The only reason why we are afraid that you do it is because somebody might come and, and uh, bring a musical instrument. That's the only reason why we are afraid. Yeah? In the temple, they're allowed to, but over here, you know, in the temple, don't do these things. Okay. okay. So this is all the things that you were allowed to do, and the rabbis forbade you because you might come to something else. What else? The, the, then there are commandments. What are the commandments? Lo danin. En yoshvim badin. You're not allowed, the judges are not allowed to discuss a specific case, even though they're not... Um, They're not going, they know that they're not going to finish it today. They're just discussing the attribute of the case. What do you think about this? So they're not allowed to do that on Shabbat. Yeah? Lo danin, en yashvim badin. It says, what? It's a mitzvah. What do you mean? With learning Torah. What's the problem in doing it? And we're not going to come with the psak din today. We know. It's in another three weeks. In other words, you have, for example, you have the Supreme Court, right? Come together to, in America today. They're all Jews, let's say. They're all Jews, and they sit together on the Yom Tov meal. They're all sitting on the Yom Tov too. He says, what do you think about this case? And what do you think? No, they're not allowed to. Yeah? Business. <laughs> not because it's... Them. No, no, it's not business. Not because it's business. It's business that you're allowed to do. It's not a problem to discuss. Be, be, for example, um, it's not a, 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 for, for example, a scientist. Yeah? A scientist um, is thinking about... Or philosopher. He's allowed to think philosophy on Shabbat, even though it's his business. It's not a problem. I mean, it's, maybe it's not dab, Dabru Davar, another issue he has, but it, it, it's not a melacha. It, it's not a problem for him to philosophize on Shabbat. Yeah? To think there are, between this philosophy and between... You're allowed to talk about Freud, you know, a psychologist. He's allowed to think his th- thoughts on, on Shabbat. It's not a problem. Yeah? So the same thing over here. That's... The, the no, thinking. I was thinking that that's their job, so they're working. Yeah, that's no, no, uh, uh, no <laughs> over here they, they're not, they're, it's not, uh, so according to this, if you're going to say that, then they're not, they're not allowed to learn Torah on Shabbos. Why? Because that's their job. Their job is dinim, so they're not allowed to learn Gomorrah now on Shabbos, according to you. Oh. Where are you going to stop it? See? Yeah. You, can, you cannot say they're not allowed to discuss it. That, that's what I'm saying. Because what do you mean? We're learning Torah now. We're not doing this. We're going to see. For me, that's the reason we're going to see. So, Lo danim. En yashvi banim. Ve lo mekadshin. Not allowed to get married. So what's the problem? Not, not allowed to make kiddush, kiddushin. That's why we don't uh, get married on Shabbat and Yom Tov. Yeah? Lo mekadshin kiddush eisha. Lo cholzim. Ve lo meyabmim. You don't do chalitza. And you don't do yibum. 
and we know this is what's Chalitz and Yibum, Isha Shemet Baala Belo Banim, a woman that her husband died and they don't have any children, Metzove Alachi Baala Leavma. It's a commandment on the brother of her husband to marry her. If he doesn't marry her, then they do the, the process of chalitza. She takes out his fruit. And we don't do chalitza, not yibum. What's the problem? Do it. Why not? So the question is, we, we used to it that we don't do it. So, so, so what's not? It has nothing to do with the process itself. The process you're allowed to do. What's the problem? בגמרא מבואר שארבע דברים אלו יש בהם אמנם מישהו מצווה ממש. This is a mitzvah. What do you mean? פורבו. I'm allowed to do it. How can the rabbi come and tell me don't do a mitzvah? Why are they telling me don't do a mitzvah? Don't get married. Don't get married. Exactly. Why are they telling me? Yibam and chalitza, you have to do it immediately as possible. And all these things. You have to do all these things as, as possible. I have a mitzvah. How can you come and tell me not to? מבואר... It says, but there are times that it's not a mitzvah. There are times it's only a permission. For example, somebody who's already got 20 children, 10, 10 uh, girls, 10 boys, he's allowed to get married to his second wife, right? Or his first wife died. He's allowed to get married. So right now, the second marriage that he has, or the first marriage, or the second marriage that he has after his wife died, yeah, it's only reshoot. It's not, it's not a commandment. He's already have the children. He's already have the children. That's why it says it is permissible. Not because it is always permissible. Sometimes it is. Because sitting in judgment, sometimes it is permissible. It doesn't have to. Kegon, for example. For example, you know the high court is discussing the case. You know the case has got nothing to do with you. But the que- you're still not allowed to come and judge, even though you the, you, the Supreme Court is judging. You're the minor court, and still you won't be allowed to discuss this issue. So this is Rishut, I'm not, I'm not going to them. She'en mutav alav ladun. It's not your responsibility to do it. It's their responsibility to, to do the judgment. I, the judges, the minor judges, are still not allowed to discuss it. And they, uh, getting married to a woman, sometimes it is permissible, it's not a mitzvah. For example, a person that has a wife and he has sons, and so it is in Yibum Why it's not? Because there's a higher, there's many brothers. If my, and I'm the lower brother, right? I'm the younger brother, and there's an older brother than me. It's on him the mitzvah to marry her, not on me. At the time that he has a brother who is bigger than him. But him it's only permissible. Because it's a mitzvah in the older one to do the yibum. But even in cases that these things are actually a mitzvah, you never got married before, it's your first marriage. They're still prohibited on Shabbos and Yom Tov. And the most interesting reason why. You're going to see. It's not because they're really, they're allowed to. It says we're afraid these things, you know, usually you record. You get married, you say, this guy married this guy. You boom, you say this guy. A din, a judgment, you write what happened in the judgment. Just because maybe you're going to write, the rabbi says don't do all these things. These things that might lead to writing, don't do. Even though it's a mitzvah. Even though they're a mitzvah. For example, Shema Yichtov, what are you going to write? Psak din ladinin. You're going to write down who owes who, or what's the logic of who owes who from the two people. Veshtar irusin lekidushin. You're going to write a ktuba for the kidushin. Veshtar chalitza lecholetzet. And a document for chalitza for the, the woman who... Um, who, who doesn't get married to the brother, or to a woman who does marry the older brother. Okay, up to here. And these are uh, because of mitzvah. So up to now, these four things, it was called reshut. 
even though that sometimes it is chova. Yeah? <laughs> sometimes it is a mitzvah. Now it is things that are always a mitzvah. Not, they're never a reshut. You're still not allowed to do them. Ve'elu e'em ishu mitzvah. Dvarim, divrei mitzvah, asturim ishu shvut. This is things of mitzvah that you're prohibited because of shvut. Again, the rabbi says, ah, ah, don't do this. For example, lo makdishim shum davar lehekdesh. I cannot go out to the, my yard. I say, oh, this bull, look at it. I'm going to eat him today. <coughs> and then he says, no, 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 you know, I don't, I, I don't want to eat him. It's too nice. I'm going to de- donate it to the temple. You know, this bull, not allowed to do it in Yom Tov. What's the problem? Velo ma'arichim erech ish. And we didn't learn arachin yet, but a person can say, my value I give to the temple. Yeah? And then he has to, 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 to say, he has to bring a certain value to the temple, whatever he's worth. And it's only for the temple if somebody asks him, this house, how much it's worth there? No, that's Did business. That's business. That you will not be allowed to do because of business. And this is not because of business. This is not, oh, we're going to see. What, what's the problem? Oh, no, no. Marichin over here, it has a... a yeah, but it has, a, if you remember... It has a value. Yeah, but it has a set value. For example, a man from this age to this age, 30 gold, you remember? 30 so silver. Also, but I, you say, yeah, because it doesn't have the eye and this, this, and the dark, this, you worth 30 shekels. Yeah, but you, you already know the erech before you give. You say, if it's a baby, you say, irko arko alai. And then there's a certain amount that you have to give. So it's not like you're not actually setting a price over here. Oh, there's no set just, pr- You just take the old values yeah. and the values and, my, that, that. and then you, and, and then you, uh, you know what the value is. Erech ish, l'mar, erech ploni alai, velatet me'er kol le'akdesh k'mefurat b'Torah. Yeah, like it says, says in the Torah, in Vaikra it says, Shloshi, you remember, it's 30 for the man be, be this age, 20 for a woman. If she's old, she a little bit more percentage for the woman, a little less for the the whole thing. Velo yes. machrimim. Also, we don't do cherem. Um, what is cherem? Cherem is like a hekdesh, it's the same thing. But cherem is, for example, you say, this animal is prohibited on everybody. What do you mean? You, you say it in the negative. There's two ways you can give to the temple. Either you can say, this belongs to the temple, or this nobody allowed to touch because it's holy. So cherem, you say, anybody who touches this is a cherem. Is a, like, I, I think the Arabs also say haram, haram all the time. Oh. Haram is from the word cherem. Haram is not allowed, not allowed to be used for personal use. That's what haram means. Haram means this is, belongs to the, in other words, it's almost like saying it belongs to the temple, but just on the negative. Okay? Lo machirim cherem lehekdesh. Kegon lomar, for example, harei behemah zo cherem. In other words, you don't say this animal goes to the temple. It says this cherem. Nobody's allowed to use it. That's what you're saying. Bestam charamim. And if you say cherem, the word cherem, hekdesh lebeda kabayit, it goes to the upkeep of the temple. ויש סוברים לכהנים, some say disagree, it's not upkeep cherem doesn't go to the temple, it goes to the כהנים who there is weak in their shift, but it doesn't matter. בגמרא מבואר, ששלושה דברים אלו אסרו חכמים ביום טוב, it says, so why you've prohibited these things on יום טוב? Should be allowed, 100%. He says, you're right, it's 100% allowed, but you know what, like you said with the חרמים, it looks, it looks like business. It looks like you're transferring over in the ownership. It looks like you machine it. It doesn't have the right taste. Mishum shedumim lemekach umemkar. It has a similar, it has the smell of business in it. Shemutzio mereshuto lereshut ha-ekdesh. Because you take it from one domain to another domain. It's like taking the animal from my, from my possession to your possession. From my possession to the temple. My possession to the Kohanim. My possession to the Veda Kabayit, whatever it is. Okay. And other things we don't do. Velo magbihim truma umasel. Another thing we don't do on Yom Tov and on Shabbos. We do not um, we do not separate truma and tithe, truma and maaser, according to the Levi. En mafrishit truma to maasrot be Yom Tov. We do not tithe to the coin or to the Levi in Yom Tov. 
Why? Mipnei shemetaken et haperot laachila. Why you don't do it? Because we, what you're doing is, before you did tithe it, they were not allowed to be eaten. Now, after you're tithing it, now you are allowed to be eaten. Yeah. It's like you made, you made food. It's like you, it's like you made the food. Beram, but here we're going to see an exception. What's the exception? Ex- the exception is the woman makes bread, bakes bread every day. So when she breaks, bakes bread on Yom Tov, she does a freshat chala for the Kohen on Yom Tov. And that you are allowed to do in Yom Tov. Even though it's fixing. Even though it's fixing. So it says, why that you're allowed to? Beram la frish chala miisa nelusha be Yom Tov. To separate chala from the bread that she makes fresh on Yom Tov, that's mutar, that's you're allowed to. And that is why, and, and that is why because that's the only way to eat on Yom Tov. All the other ones you can do beforehand. Chala, there's no way to do beforehand because you have to, she has to lafrish when she's baking it and she's baking it fresh. So since there's no other way to do it, that you're allowed to do in a Yom Tov, but the ones that you can do before, you should do before. Kol elu be Yom Tov amru, klomar kol she kol elu mishumet amidrash niyan Yom Tov. So it says, all the things that we discussed over here is in Yom Tov you're allowed to do all these things. How much more so for Shabbos? Yeah? All the things that we discussed up, up to here was Yom Tov. Shabbos, for sure, you're not allowed to do them. Kal v'chomer b'Shabbos, how much more so for Shabbos? Shasturi v'mishum shvut, that they're not allowed to do because of shvut. Uma sheshaninu b'reisha, and this is that we, we said in the beginning, kol shechayavim alav b'Shabbat, chayavim alav b'Yom Tov, we said that everything that you obligate on Shabbos, you obligate on Yom Tov, hainu inyanim acherim shelo uzkuru mishnatenu. These are other areas that we are not mentioned in the Mishnah. That's what he was discussing in the beginning. So let's see the dif- So what is the dif- differentiation between Shabbos and Yom Tov? En ben Yom Tov le Shabbos. So there's only difference between Yom Tov and Shabbos. She be Yom Tov mutar lechatchila ma sheasur be Shabbat. That in Yom Tov you're allowed to do things that you're not allowed to do in Shabbat. Ela ocher nefesh bilvad. The only difference between Yom Tov and Shabbos is preparation of food. Nothing else. Nothing else. Shenemar, Ach asher yochal, lechol nefesh, hu levado yaasu lachem. Whatever you are preparing to, to eat, that you're allowed to do on Yom Tov. Umikan shebe Yom Tov muta laasot melacha, shi lezoche ochol nefesh. Otherwise, in a, for here we learn that on Yom Tov, the only thing you will, all the melachas you're allowed to do is only the melachas that it is for preparing food. Ve'edu b'Shabbat asur, and Shabbat obviously it's not allowed. Bagmara mevoar, obviously this is not a halacha, because we allow you, this is according to, I don't remember who, who the two guys were, um, but the halacha, if you remember, is that Beit, I don't remember who it was, I think it was Beit, but I don't think it was, I don't know. There was one opinion that says that the only difference is preparation of food. If you're not, not preparation for food, you're not allowed to, to do it. And the other says, once you allow to do it for food, we'll allow you to do it for other things. I just remember who, who the two things are. Okay? But it is. Umikan she biyom tov mutal laasot melacha she yitzor echon nefesh. Ve'ilu b'shvas, bagmara mevoar, in the Gemara it explains, she mishnatenu yedat, oh, our Mishnah is according to Beit Shammai. That's who said it. Our Mishnah, this Mishnah is according to Beit Shammai that doesn't allow you other things. אבל ההלכה היא כבית הלל, but the halacha is not like this Mishnah, it's like the house of Hillel, הסוברים שמתוך שהותרה הוצאה והעברה לצורך אוכל נפש, so since you're allowed to cook and you're allowed to carry for food, הותרה גם שלא לצורך, now we allow you to carry just for enjoyment of the Yom Tov, we allow to, uh, to heat water to wash your face, yeah, even though it's not אוכל נפש, that's בית הלל, once it's allowed, it's allowed. כגון שיש בה צורך מצווה, as long as it is for a מצווה, או צורך איזו הנאה לאדם, או it's a enjoyment for the person. וכן שנינו מתחילת פרקנו, משילים פירות דרך ארובה ביום טוב אבל לא בשבת. And this is also what we said in the beginning, <coughs> that you're allowed to um, bring down the fruit on יום טוב, but you're not allowed to do on שבת, because אוכל נפש is on יום טוב ולא on שבת.